So in this video, we're going to show the grouped operations feature that sits within the web app. So I'm logged into the web app and I've clicked on the grouped operations tab down the side. So to set up a new grouped operation is really quick and simple. We go up here and we create a new one. So a grouped operation is any operation where we are going to have usually more than one technician operating more than one valve. So here I'm going to put a flush test in. Um, we're going to release this automatically. So we're going to release it today. So we click the down arrow to pick up the date, or you can type in the date immediately in here. You can actually pick a time, but I'm just going to leave that blank. It will release it automatically on that time. So now we've created the operational group. Um, we can go in and now add particular operations to that. So we're going to add an operation to this group in here. So with all of these, when we're setting up the operations, it's really quite straightforward to do. You have the same interface that you would have when you're setting up a normal operation. But this one gives you the ability to add more than one valve and more than one technician. So I'm going to pick a turn to close. I'm going to set the time it's going to be released as today. But these can be scheduled, so you could schedule them over a day, a week, even a month, um, you know, or several within an hour. Here you can put a particular event ID. So I'm just going to use a test flush as my event ID in here. And then I'm going to pick a technician, as you would before. So I'm going to pick myself. But here, then, you pick the valve that you're going to operate. So this one operates directly by typing in the valve asset number, which all water companies have a valve asset number. So I'm going to type in the known valve asset number here. But then pulls back the asset itself, the valve, and I'm going to use the default valve term profile, which is two steps, 10.4 turns and 2.6 turns on this particular valve. And we're going to create that valve within the grouped operation. So that's been added in. So it takes me that now. So this flush test has got one operation in on that particular valve. So I'm going to add another one in there now. So again, we'll do a turn to close. Uh, we'll release it again at the same time. We're going to use the same event ID. Just flush. And we're going to pick the technician who's going to do this particular job. And again, we're going to type in an asset number. And use the default term profile. And we can carry on creating as many jobs as we like in this particular operation. And these can be set out in order. So they are in order as they sit now. So Smart Valve will release these. So job one, job two, and if we had me, three, four, five, and six. And then it has the ability to reverse those as well. So if these are all turns closes, it would then reverse them and say, well, we need to do the turn to opens if it's something like a test flush, for example. So it does that um, automatically within the system as well. If we wanted to reorder the operations, we just click this tab here. And we can move these around. So if we'd actually set it up wrong in the first place, or we wanted to change the date and the time that these released at, you know, the time will override the order. So if we set these out in order and we leave this blank, then they'll happen one, two, three, four, five, six. But if we change these times in here, they will actually go on date and time order, regardless of what um, order they're in down the list on the left hand side. So that's been updated. So now when we release that to the technicians by pressing this button here, that will release that one job to myself and the other job to Jordan. So we'll both see that grouped operation on our apps and we'll see the role that we need to undertake within that. We'll also see the other roles as well. So I'm first, so I will have to do my operation before Jordan will be allowed to do his. So he won't be able to click on and actually do his operation until mine's done. Once Smart Valve knows that that operation has been done, then Jordan's will be released. So he'll be able to see all the operations, but he won't be able to do his until it's his time to do it. So it's intelligent enough to understand that this job has to be done before this job, and therefore won't let Jordan do it before I've completed mine. So that's a really simple way to set up some grouped operations to do things like PPM. Um, and it's very flexible. And also, if you make a mistake with anything within Smart Valve, we can just press the delete button every single time and it will delete those down and we can start again. You know, even if the operation has been released, we can delete it. And once the app refreshes, that job will be released from there as well.